I find it's often my larger baits that seem to collect the scars from pike teeth. With smaller lures, I can start to attract the attention of less toothy freshwater predators like perch. Heavy leaders are always going to be a little off-putting to smaller hunters, and to go without could risk a bite off from a pike. So for this project, I'm making a lightweight leader that's fine enough to fool a perch, yet strong enough to deal with the odd pike. For wire, I'm using an uncoated seven strand stainless steel, which at 15 pound is incredibly fine. I'm matching this with a strong but lightweight egg snap and a number 10 swivel. For the ends of the wire, quick set epoxy makes a great coating. And to twist it up, I've placed a small hook in the chuck of a cordless drill. A good alternative to this is a twiddle stick, which is basically a hook screwed into a dowel. For a heat source, I have a cigarette lighter, and to measure and cut, some scissors and a ruler. To start with, I'm going to pull about 20 inches of wire from the spool. This should give me a finished leader of about 18 inches. To soften the ends of the wire and make it easier to form connections, I can heat the last inch to an orangey red on both ends. And then when it's cooled, I can thread on the swivel and pass the end back through the same eye, pinching it together to form a loop. I can pass this loop over the swivel and then gently close it up. With a little more pressure, I can cinch it down tightly. To tidy up the tag end, I'm going to twist it up by placing the eye on the hook in the cordless drill. Once I've pulled the tag out to the side and pinched it into position lightly, I can crank up the motor and let it do the work for me. Although it's probably not necessary, I can tighten up the coils by sliding them back to give a neater finish. To attach the snap, I can simply repeat the process. To twist the tag end up, this time I'm going to use the twiddle stick, as the cordless may be great at home, but a little bulky to carry in the fishing bag. With both ends twisted, I can mix up some of the epoxy and apply just enough to lightly coat the wraps. A quick alternative I use bankside is super glue. For storage, I can coil the leader and pop it into a press seal bag. I've slipped a piece of stiff plastic in for protection and this means I can fit another leader in the back. If you've enjoyed this video feel free to like, share or leave a comment. For more handmade fisherman videos you can follow the link to my channel or subscribe to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching.